Hello again, and it's time for another project. Today we're going to make a copy of this saw out of wood, which it's placed on now at this moment. This is just fence panelling wood, nice cheap wood. It works for these little fun projects that we make. Now the idea is to draw around this, literally with a pencil to get a nice template. You can also get these templates straight from the internet if you want to do it that way. Once we've drawn around it, I've placed my letters in place. I'm just going to write sanctuary on this one. I was going to put my sanctuary, but it's just getting a bit too tight. I've cut these letters into single ones, so you can just literally just place them where you wanted them. They don't have to be straight. You can go up and down the hills, whatever you, whatever you're happy with. Stick them down with a bit of tape. Literally get your carbon paper as before. Slide that under your lettering, and draw over with a pencil. That's it, that's as good as it gets. That way you can use those again if you're doing two or three of these. And there we have it, it's all on there now, ready to route out. Nice and simple. Normally I would do inset letters, which would mean removing the inside of the letters. Because we're doing a blade, and I want to have a bit of a height difference between the wood and the blade itself, the handle should I say. It's similar to that one. We're going to do outset, which basically we're going to remove all the background, maybe to half the depth of this, quarter of the way down. We'll see how we get on. So the letters will stand up nicely. And for that, as always, my little CNC bits. These are lovely. If you eBay CNC bits router, you'll come up with loads of these. Different angles, 30 degrees, 15s, 10s. But they do have a small shaft on them, and the shaft will fit into a Dremel. Very small pin like that. You'll need a collet, and that's just basically a metal tube. It's a couple of slits down the side, like a clamp. And that fits in there nicely. And that's now quarter inch shaft, and that will fit into your router. No problem. It's okay, we're going to use one of those, and that will be for cutting all around the lettering. That's going to be the hardest bit on this little project. And then once that's all done, I'll replace it for one of these Imperial Metric, I believe, double-sided blades. These come in bigger thicknesses, small. This is one I've just grabbed out the uh, the box of choice. And we'll throw that on, and then we will remove all the outside. Before I remove the outside, we will cut around this with a scroll saw, and then put this piece of wood back up again, just so the router's got more of an area to work on. Okay, let's set this up in the router. And we'll start cutting this one out. Right, you can see from that, we've gone around all our lettering. And to me, that's the, the hardest bit over, really. Now we've got to do is clear out this background, just so those letters stand up, obviously, to the depth of what we've cut. I've, I've cut a section out there, and when we put our double-sided bit on, we'll obviously set it to the same depth. What I'm going to do before that, though, is literally cut this out on the scroll saw. Just so when I come in with the router, we can just skim straight off the edge of there because all this has been missing. So we'll cut that next on the scroll saw. 
Right, you can see from that, I had a mixture of scroll saw, an actual band saw was easier for the straight lines, and I used a bit of scroll saw just for the curvy ones. Now, you don't have to be perfect, we're going to use a sanding burr on the Dremel to round this off and give it all a nice shaping, so don't be over concerned if it's not looking perfect. But there's our basic shape anyway. Just before we start routing out the backing of this project because it's so near the edge and my router has such a small base on it you can tend to just get yourself wobbling about a bit on both sides because all we're going to have to rest on will be the actual lettering as we start removing it so if you find yourself a piece of the original wood you can put that in there and your router is just going to rest on there there's more to rest on and we can just go in like that and just keep nibbling and obviously, when we do that side, you can do the same again. There is bigger bases on there, 12 inch, whatever size you want. I just prefer the small base. So that will help us out. Let's start removing this backing. Right, we've gone around all our letters, we've had no disasters, everything's still intact, that's always a good sign. That's plenty deep enough for me, is that? If you want to go deeper, you go around it all again, simple as that. We don't need to concentrate too much on the back, as we're not going to see it, this is going up against the wall. If you're making a kiddies toy, you could route out the back exactly the same and go that way with it. But as this is a plaque, we don't need to make work for ourselves. This andal here, normally I would get the little sanding barrel burr or whatever on the Dremel and shape it off. Today we're going to have a go with one of these. These are called edge trimmers, I believe. That little silver bit that's got bearings inside, so that turns like that. And literally all you do is put it in your router, set it to what depth you want, and that will run along the wood like that, no problem. And it's just enough to put a little bevel on like that. That should be four wood, see how sharp that is. And that's obviously the after piece. Don't use these a lot. They come in different sizes and stuff. I mean, you can treat yourself to a nice box like that. That's got them all in. So yeah, we'll pop this in the router now and literally just go around the inside of the wood with this. And hopefully we'll go around the outside just to bevel the edges off a bit. Let's do that next.
Okay, we've gone around the handle. That's come out pretty cool. I'm quite happy with that. Very rarely use one of those edge trimmers. What I'm going to do next is get back on the scroll saw and I'm going to try and cut teeth into this. Now this might backfire and it would have been better just leaving it. But you don't know until you try these things. So we'll get the scroll saw, cut our teeth in, just to make it look a little bit more realistic. Right, you can see from that, we got our teeth done. I'm glad I've done them now, it just finishes it off nicely. 95 teeth. No problem. Right, general tidy up time. I normally just get my Dremel, put some kind of, this is actually an engraving burr on the end. But it's, it says rough at the bottom as well as the sides. So that's ideal, just, just for going round and a general tidy up into the bits like in there that we couldn't reach with our router bit Okay, we've gone as far as we want to go with that. It's all nicely sanded down. Or near enough for me. This is actually for me, this one. So I'm not going to get too carried away and spend too much time on it. But, but yes, time for painting. Now, originally, I was going to do the blade silver. And I did spray a sample on here. And it's just too, just too much for me. I'm not comfortable with that. So we're not going to use that one. I was thinking about different dyes. This is a mahogany and a pine. Antique pine. I've actually done the two on this scrap piece of wood. That brown's not too bad. That would have been a nice andal colour. The pine's totally soaked in all together. And this end one, that's the linseed oil. <laughs> so I've had a play about. What I'm actually going to go for is a dark oak varnish. Literally struggled to get the lid off this, it's that old, but we might get away with it. I'm going to do the handle in that, and I'm going to do the lettering. And the rest I'm just going to do linseed oil, and just darken that wood down slightly. And that's it. Right, this one's uh, finished now. Just to give it a final coating, I use this, one of my favourites. Just literally give it a good spraying of that. The varnish went on nice. I'm quite happy with the wood background. I'm glad I didn't go with the silver. Everything's all done. The teeth were the challenge on this one for me, so I'm quite pleased with that. And that's it. All we've got to do now is hang it up outside. This is my sanctuary. It could be man cave, dad's workshop, grandpa's workshop, mama's workshop, anything you want. On this one today, we've done the routing, scroll saw, band saw, drill, dremel. It was all thrown in on this one. But yeah, use what you've got available. Yeah, and I'm quite happy with that one. First time I've made one of these. 25 inch by 5 inch. Thank you for watching.